I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 161. Just a reminder before we start, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Rated G for Gamers. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Spotify. We appreciate all the love. Also, we are now a part of the Gaming Podcast Alliance. Check out all of the fine podcasts featured on there for more gaming goodness. I'm your host, Dave Rotino. This is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster, forming on his classic, Robinson. What's going on, man? Dan, as we always try and start the show, but epically fail. Not today. I beat Katana Zero, Dan. Whoa, throw me for, you threw me for a swerve. I didn't know we were going there. That's what I've been All playing, right. and I beat it. I picked it up on Friday. I beat it. I beat it last night. I think I beat it at least. Well, the game we it. gave, the game we gave, game of the show at PAX, the game That's right. you loved, and I, and I and I, I give you credit because I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll see it, and you you were like, no, like, you no, have you to play you it. have to play this game, you have to play game. and you look fight, how good it turned it. out, look how good it turned out, it. yeah. Right. Well, That's spoilers, it. I've been playing a game too. Mm-hmm. Since we're, we're just jumping mm-hmm. into it. I've been playing a game too. Uh, I I I got to be honest, this game is my my sleeper hit of the year. Hmm. Right? It's, Isn't it? it? Like, the whole presentation's it, great. Uh, the combat, and, you know, all the gameplay mechanics. I was a little, uh, like I was a little skeptical about the I was a little skeptical about the one-hit kill, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but they do it in a way that... They take you right back. You they know? Take you, they take, well, you don't have to read, you know, like, you redo that same part section, section of it, yeah. right? Yeah, you do that. You, you do, do that. Do that part of the level over again. So, basically, like, once you, like, clear a screen, you're good. Right. Well, you, is that is that like the NES days where uh, no. they would just take you back to the, whole, the, beginning, the beginning of the, of the, game. Of the damn level, right? You'd have to do the whole yeah. thing over again. Yeah, you no, have to do the no, whole no, game no. Over again. Yeah, and and you know, without without spoiling any of the story, the game gets weird. I I would say my only negative about the game, I, I'm a little lost in the story. I have no idea. I, I think I know what's going on, mm-hmm. and I thought maybe the story bits, your story, because in this you get to choose your um, your dialogue. Yeah, I thought that would take me in you know a different direction if I if I you know went one way or the other. Yeah, you know? sort of like a Telltale game. It, yeah, it, they they like kind of made it out that like you could like unravel parts of the story uh, based on based on your your uh, choices. There's a couple of things that you know, affect that, but mostly it's just like, ah, it's just a fun little kind of interlude between the next uh, mission, right? It's not anything crazy. It's nothing It's nothing crazy. I don't think anybody, I mean, I would have to really play the game again, mm-hmm. but I don't think so, because I did play a section again. I, I did play, like, in the, in the early beginning, I played a section again with the, the, sec, with the front desk lady. Oh, yeah. And, and yeah. I chose different options, and the same thing happened. Right, so. right, yeah. I mean, it's still like it's still kind of cool, and like you know, they make it interesting. And there's you know, there's ways to like get to the action quicker, right? There's like a little meter at the bottom, and you know, you can you can basically choose the first available red option, which is always like a shouting option, right? And it's like I just wanna I just wanna get by. Can I go, please? Right? And it's like oof. And sometimes that works, and sometimes that doesn't. You know, sometimes you can intimidate people, and you know, you can get by them. Sometimes you can't. But, I will uh, say this. I thought I beat the game because mm-hmm. there's, there's a section I don't know maybe like six seven hours in where you're surrounded uh, you're surrounded by you're surrounded I don't want to tell you who you're surrounded by I don't really think that's a spoiler that uh, you know necessarily but you're you're surrounded uh-huh. and you can choose to live or die right yeah so my yeah first, yeah my first, my first option I chose to die 
Yeah, I I, 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 I chose I chose the same option, and they let you do it. You know, they let you do it. So, and then I went back. And then I went back and I chose to live, and the mm-hmm. game continued. <laughs> the game yeah, continues. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I like, well, like I'll tell you this. Mind blowing. I love this. Yeah, I'll tell you this. I beat it. I think I beat it because the credits rolled. But then it 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 feels like there's more. So I don't know. I don't know. Wait. Do you, do you, do you think you have to go back to your last I, I, save and do it again? And is there like a choice? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Else? I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. You'll get to the end and you'll see. Okay, I think I'm pretty yeah. close to it. I'm thinking pretty close to it because when I came back, I played a, a bunch of levels and st- f- just story wise, which mm-hmm. is totally, totally out there. It's just, it's just a little weird. Not gonna lie. Yeah, no, it's off the wall. I think I'm at the final level, but I don't know. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, uh, well, you know what? The game again. The game came out last week. Let's game. do a little review roundup. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, it came out for Switch. Uh, is it a console exclusive as of right now? And it came out for PC. So uh, Switch... Steam, yeah, Steam Store. Yeah. So the the, the Switch version, uh, Metacritic score is eighty four, and the PC version, Metacritic score is eighty two. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Screen Rants thought it was a perfect game, perfect throwback, sort of NES style type difficulty where it's one hit kill and you have to figure out how to get through each level. You have to figure out sort of how you were going to maneuver through the level to get through it. Yeah, they always um, give you like a couple different options and ways to go. And, you know, usually yeah. it's a multi-tiered level. There's like top, middle, and bottom. And, you know, you have to kind of figure out like, well, if I do this, this is going to trigger this. And then this guard will come out. And then maybe I can pick up this potted plant and toss that. And then you're like, nope, I died. And you try a different strategy until you get it. Well, they so love the art style. They love the fact that you have the dialogue options. Again, I disagree. I'm not that big on the story. Uh, mm-hmm. and IGN, Nintendo Life, both uh, 90, 90 and 87 respectively, which is I think mm-hmm. is around the same score. Mm-hmm. Some of the outliers. So Game Informer, they thought it was okay. They gave it a 78. But Game Revolution, <sighs> uh, I'm not going to lie. I've never heard of this site before. Uh, they give it a 60. This is the lowest score I've found so far. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, it's 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 definitely it's definitely pretty low. I don't think the game's a 60. I think the game's like an 80, 85. I am very in love with the art and sound design in the game. They love they love, they love, love the sound and the style of the mm-hmm. game. But if you want yeah. more, yeah. if you want something interesting, well, according to them, you want the, the, the review of you want something interesting that was more interactive, a more interactive tale in, per, in a precise action game. Mm-hmm. Right? Like that, they were looking, they like, I don't think again they take it back to the story the story just doesn't capture me you know i'm a story based guy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like i think they missed a i think there was a big opportunity missed here really that they, oh. they could have told a more interesting story in my view that uh-huh. would have got i don't know got I me was, hooked i think i was definitely I think, pretty engaged with the story story was not my problem the story is my biggest problem with the game if i have to be honest oh, it's right. my biggest right. problem if I go back. I go back to this game mm-hmm. for the gameplay, mm-hmm. for to figure out how I'm gonna maneuver through this level. To try, like I know I can do it. Like every time I die, I'm like, oh my god, I know I can beat. I know I can beat this. I I, I got to the last guy, and <laughs> and and just you know messed up. Didn't do. Didn't jump when I was supposed to jump, and he shot me, and I went all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh. So so it's more of like challenging my skill. Mm-hmm. More so than engaging in story, so right. I think if they would have teamed up with Telltale Games, mm-hmm. <laughs> they came up with a better story. Even a sure. messenger, even a sure. messenger had a goofy story, right? right? That was like right, more right. of a goofy style story. Like I wish I had that type of story in here. Mm-hmm. I have no idea who they were talking about—a war and the and the and the and the, and the, and the chron, Chronos and uh, well, Chronos cool. is the drug in the game, right? You know, that's the one that allows you to stop time, and that's why you have all the the superpowers. You know, and apparently there's some other people who are also injected with Chronos, but but you die um, and keep coming back, and you're living, you're living this. Uh, I, I don't know. I, it's all over the place. Gotta be honest. It is. It is. I mean. I, I, I would say, I would say, and I think you're in agreement, you know, if, if, if you had any interest in playing this game, pick it up and play it. It's only like 15 bucks, right? Oh, but I'm definitely a hundred percent will pay the, the $40 when it comes when out. When it ends up coming out physical. Next, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Year. It's going to be great. I'm going to get the deluxe. 
It's going to be like real good. Uh, one thing I think that they dropped the ball on gameplay wise is they could have done with some challenge stages, right? Really? Because they have all these great mechanics in the game, right? They have all these interesting level layouts and this and that, and it's all tied to the story, right? So there's only like so many, there's only so long you can kind of drag it out before it's like, all right, you know, you keep throwing these twists in there and this and that, and it's getting kind of like, uh, I think they ended it at the right point, you know? I think it all kind of worked out well, but I wanted more gameplay out of it, right? And you could have done that by making some challenge stages up, right? You know, just just like here's like a here's like a little discrete level, you know, and there you go, you know, get to the end, boom, and that's a challenge stage. You get away thrown in a bunch D- of those. D- DLC for the physical edition, uh, the something physical you know, next, something. next year, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, the messenger is coming out. Uh, the messenger was our game, I think, our game in the show last. Packs oh yes it was yes it was and and the physical edition is coming out this year and they yep. have dlc coming out so that's that, right that, yeah that the weird be... like the weird like surfing beach summer hawaiian kind of themed uh dlc but, but weirdly cool. enough it fits <laughs> yeah some weirdly somehow enough, some way fits. somehow some way it fits but i so. can see i can see i can see them come out with a dlc for katana zero so yeah in challenge stages yeah uh trust me trust me i i i think they will i think they will so what else? Have you been playing anything else other than that? Yes, I've been I've been playing the been playing the horrible and and amazing at the same time, uh, Pixel Junk Monsters Two on the Switch. What what the hell? Wait, what the hell is that? I mentioned <laughs> it before, Dan. It's a it's a tower defense game. Oh yeah 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 yeah. It first debuted on the PS3, then they made a sequel somewhere along the line. I think maybe on the PSP, maybe the PS4. And then they did limited run, did a special edition for the Switch, and I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna pick this game up because the first game was great, and the new game is great. It's just the load times are atrocious, so it takes you like a minute to do anything, right? You want to restart the level, it's a minute. You want to play a new stage, it's a minute. <laughs> you want to go into the multiplayer and you hit the button when you're on the subway and you don't have any network connection, it's a minute. <laughs> it's yeah. terrible. Yeah. You get anything? You get anything you want to get off your chest? Any gamer grief you want to get? That's off your there. Chest? You go. That it's terrible. Uh, uh, limited, limited run. I know this is not what you do, but you need to. You need to get the developers to put a patch out because it's trash. Everything about the game is great except for the load times. Well, we'll talk uh, about load times going mm-hmm. forward in games uh-huh. a little later on in the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, so that's you, that's. That's what Sorry. you've been playing. Yeah, yeah. You beat Katana Zero. I'm playing I Katana Zero. I think I'm mm-hmm. at the end, but I will you'll, say... You'll, you'll I, have it beaten by next uh, by, by next episode, I guarantee. But I did beat Yoshi's Crafted World. Well, Switch. there you go. There you go. Nice little easy jaunt, right? You know, grown man gamer. Just, I got, uh, I got the Very, very button. easy to play. I, so when you beat it, mm-hmm. spoilers, not really spoilers, uh, another section opens up. Sure, you get a little bonus you, world. You get another bonus world, like an island, like on a um, new Super Mario U Deluxe. Yep, on the Switch. Once you mm-hmm. beat it, you get you get the open. They get like the Star World, mm-hmm. right? Here's my only issue. The one thing I didn't like about the game, because uh, I didn't, I don't. Really don't tell me it. it's too tough, Dan. The game no. is made for six year olds. <laughs> it's not even. You, you could be a three year old and beat this game, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. They actually have some challenging semi-challenging compared to the beginning levels the, right you know right towards the end like the end the last boss battle with bowser mm-hmm. jr mm-hmm. you know i was like oh it took me two minutes to figure it out but you know it's two minutes right there it's two minutes to, it took me two minutes to figure out how to beat bowser jr mm-hmm. so he's not that easy it took me two mm-hmm. minutes i died twice okay. okay uh the only thing i don't like is that you have to collect the the hidden like stars flowers in each stage, you have to collect enough to move on to the next uh, world. Mm-hmm. And now that I beat the game and this whole island opened up, I need like 30, 30 flowers. So oh. I, to have to go, I have to go find the flowers I couldn't You're get a little before. Short. You're a little I short. got zero. Well, I got zero. Right. Uh-huh. You beat the game and take you back to zero. I got Jeez. zero. Uh, I had enough to beat the game. Now I, got, I would have to go back to the different worlds where I get, I couldn't find them. Or I, I couldn't find them. I have to go get 30 of them just to get to the secret world that should just be open to me because I beat the damn game. I'm sorry. I'm a little underweight yeah, at that. Yeah. All right. I, you know, you know, so I, 
you know, good thing I'm not a completionist because I'm uh-huh. probably not gonna. I'm probably yeah. not gonna go back to this. I gotta be <laughs> Ger- on a zero. <laughs> Gerard, you are not, thankfully. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> but I will say this: I dusted off the GameCube, and I've been wow. playing some GameCube games. Wow, what have you been playing on the GameCube, Dan? I want to know. Super Smash Brothers. Well, I, I've been playing. Uh, I did play Super Smash Brothers. Right. On, uh, on the GameCube. L- like literally. After I played Super Smash Brothers Ultimate on the Switch, <laughs> oh, you're like, you're like, I gotta go back and see how Melee stacks up. I, I and that's exactly how it is exactly what I did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've never played, never played F Zero GX. Oh, that game is great. Never played it, so this is my first time playing it. It's it's really I can see why people really really loved it back in the day. Mm-hmm. I I like it. It gets tough. It gets yep. tough. Yeah, to say that game gets tough. Uh, you know, I you know why that, there's no, why there's not a new F Zero that has come out in the last like ten years or whatever? Because people can't beat F Zero GX. No, well, no, I mean, I mean, there is also that, but apparently, apparently, they don't have any new good ideas for the series. They don't, they, they don't know where to go with the series, which is why they haven't made a new one. Because they're like, look, just, we're not just going to put out another game that has like that is F Zero GX two basically. They need a new hook, a new mechanic, a new something, and they're like, we don't got anything. Was That's this the, the last, reason. Was this the last F Zero game? Uh, it was, I believe. Yeah. Well, they made um, they made one in the arcade, which was F Zero like AX, I think, and mm-hmm. it came out around the time of GX, right? I think it even had a a slot for your GameCube uh, memory card. I think you could do some sort of like transfer stuff, if I'm well, not mistaken. With the were the Game Boy Advance games after the GameCube games? Uh, they were around the same time. Yeah, I want to say GX came out after. There was Mario, uh, not Mario Kart. There was F Zero GP, I think, mm-hmm. and F Zero Advance. I think there was those two. Um, yeah, I mean they were definitely around the same time, for sure. I played for the first time at WWF Shower. WWF Crush Hour? Oh god! It is. It is. It is actually. Oh, it was a hidden gem it's on Metal Twisted G. Metal. It is Twisted Metal with WWE stars. It. At first, I was like, "This is weird," but it's so much fun. Oh I my had god! So much fun. Do they have? Do they have like? Uh, do they have the Texas Rattlesnake in there? Can you? Can you play Stone Cold? That's you what can I play. Wanna... You can play Stone Cold. A Stone Cold Car. Uh, okay. You know, All right. I'm uh, in. I'm in. Car. Uh, you know the big show car the big show. uh yeah 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 no listen uh-huh. i i i popped it in because i was just like i need something different i'm gonna play something different uh-huh. crush, yeah, crush, hour, it, crush hour crush hour is, is different jam on metal jesus on metal jesus youtube channel oh my god yeah oh wait wait, and, wait do they have do they have do they have the five time five time five time five time five time champ i think so i played as the rock i only played as the only played as the rock uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah, this is like totally this is totally like early to mid two thousands, right? Oh yeah. This is this is like the end of the attitude era. Uh-huh. Well, well this is this this is when WWF WWE wrestling sort of was creative, right? Because you had a different game on each platform. You had a different game. You had the SmackDown, you had the SmackDown games on the PlayStation, and mm-hmm. you had the Raw games on the Xbox, and and the WrestleMania and had, games on uh, GameCube. Yeah, but then you also had these offshoots of like Crush, uh, Crush Hour, Crush Hour, you know, Twisted, uh-huh. that, Twisted Metal. You had to beat them up. You had to beat them up on uh, the Game Boy Color. That's right. I think it was the not King of the Ring. I forget what it was called. Um, I have stage brawl maybe or something. Yeah, something along the lines. And it's yeah. like a beat them up, and you have to stay, yeah, save yeah. Stephanie McMahon from <laughs> of Vince course. McMahon. Of course. Um, but I've also been playing Mario Kart Double Dash. Oh, the second best Mario Kart in the series. Yes, second right best. behind Super Mario Kart. Six- and now I- <laughs> Mario Kart sixty four. No, 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 no. The right behind Eight Mario Deluxe. Kart. Right behind Eight Deluxe. Uh, Eight Deluxe. I give him number three. Number three. I really like Double Dash. I like Double Dash. Wow. Double Dash was awesome. Wow. They need to bring that back for Mario Kart ten because I don't think they're going to wow. do a nine. I don't think Dead. they're going to do a nine. It is it is amazing how wrong one man can be about their I know, choices but you in Mario do it all Kart. All the time, but you do about it all the time. About their choices so. in Mario Kart. I'm sorry. No, Eight Deluxe is the best one. Man. Best no. one. No, no, no. I, I, my only problem with uh, 
Double Dash is they. Uh-huh. I guess this is when because I I never really played Double Dash before. This is when they took away. Like remember in sixty four where if you had a shell, mm-hmm. you could just hold the button and hold the shell behind you. So if someone tries to hit you with the red shell, the shell's behind you. Yeah, you could use it as like a shield. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they took that away in Double Dash. Which Did they? Infuriated me. Oh, so I was trying to do it. And I was like, no, I didn't mean I didn't mean to shoot. I just wanted <sighs> to hold it. But I like the yeah. concept. Of, I like the huh. concept of having two two drivers where you, you, you keep switching around. This one is a lost opportunity. They could have brought Double Dash to the Switch, and you could have been uh, Mario Kart Switch where you switch players. Oh, hey, see, there you go, Dan. Dan, yeah, I think I think you're missing your calling as a marketer. I know, I know. Well, this again, this still hold out hope. Switch ain't going nowhere. I think, I think they're going to transport the Switch That's for the long. For the long haul, they're going to put out different iterations, which we'll talk about later, too, as well. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Ease that up. Uh, so that's really all I've been playing. Uh, yep. you get any good? you get any good pickups? I got some good pickups, for sure. I got a call. I got a call from our friend Joe, who was like, I'm at the Goodwill right now. I found some games. Do you want them? And I said, yes. I said, yeah. Because, like, he sent me a picture of them, and I was like, yep. I want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So, without further ado, don't be don't be so picky. Just take them all. Well, well, no, because some of them some of them didn't have a game inside. <laughs> you got to be careful. Just, just take just take the, the case, and you can buy the game later. Yeah, right. <laughs> really gonna really gonna go online and spend five dollars for Wheel of Fortune on DS. I was upset. I should have told Joe to open up all these cases. All right, um, but you know it's it's. A season pro always opens up the cases, right? Because sometimes you find like five games inside. Sometimes you find no games inside. Well, so, I want, you know, some, I, you know, like I had a game once. I had a game and I just wanted the case. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that there was no game inside, I was just like, You're hey. Just like, yeah, I'll just take the case, right? Because it's like hey, a buck or I, two, right? I just, no, not even. It was free. I was like, hey, there's no game in oh, here. And she, and she threw it out. I was like, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. So so without, without uh, further ado... Uh, Hitman 2 on the PC, Battlefield 2 on the PC, Far Cry for the PC, Stronghold Crusader on the PC, Age of Wonders 2 on the PC, Pro Pinball for the PC, uh, Lord of the Rings for PS2. That was the, uh, I think, the movie tie-in, the Fellowship of the Ring movie tie-in. Uh, Wheel of Fortune for the DS. That was just the case and not the game. Stupid. Oh, um, Angry <laughs> Pro Birds. Tip, check the case. I know. I know. Angry Birds. Star Wars for the DS, and it was sealed. So that's a win. Nice. Uh, and then uh, ATV Quad Power Racing for the PS1. And, and Dan, you'll be very happy to know that I am now a proud owner of a PS3 Slim. Nice. And it works. Model the, 2, correct? Model, model yeah, 2, that's right. Model. That's right. So the controller was busted. That doesn't charge. But the system loads just fine. So I have to get myself a PS3 controller, but... That shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. No, so, yeah, listen, I can actually play love, all those great PS3 be- games. That is, the, that is the best model. It the is. Sec- the second one is yeah? the best model. But it doesn't, it doesn't have the backwards compatibility with the PS2. They took that out. I know, but it looks better. It's more reliable. I mean, the, the first model, Model 1, not the mm-hmm. revision to Model mm-hmm. 1. Well, both the Model 1, both versions. Yep. They can eat your disc, and you gotta like reset it to have it spit spit the disc out. Ooh, I only use, yeah, I only use those ooh. to play. Now I only use those. I only use that model Jesus. to um, play games on my PlayStation Plus. That I no wonder the no like, wonder the, the 360 Q. dominated that uh, that uh, generation. I know, and then you have Model Three, that plastic <laughs> shell that slides. No, no one, you know, that slides that slide that slides open. Yeah, it's, no, it's that cheap, was that was definitely weird. Slim. No it's wonder, you know, no wonder PS3 end up kicking, uh, you know, the 360's butt in the end with that <laughs> Model 3. This makes sense. Oh, my God. It ended up ultimately selling a couple more units in the end. It still had a horrible generation. And their online, and their online is still poor compared to... Uh, they fixed com- it. You can change your name, Xbox damn Live. it. You can change your name now. Oh, yeah? Stop. Yeah? I'll go ahead and give you five dollars to do that right now. If you go and change your name, go ahead. I don't need five dollars. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll pay it's you money to change your time. name. You won't do it. You won't do it because it has because it has problems. <laughs> I'll do it. You know what? Because I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't pay. I don't play. Uh, I don't. I don't play any of those. Uh... Oh, what was the games that had issues? 
It was uh, like, there was a ton. I don't know. <laughs> there was know, a ton of games. It was no. It was weird. It was like Candy Crush or something. It was no. Weird. There was a Candy Crush. No. There, little, there, there little, were little <clears> Little <throat> Big Planet Three was the only like major game that had issues. No. That that was that was one of the ones that they confirmed would be a guarantee to mess your game saves up. They wouldn't necessarily carry over. Um, you know what? You there know was what? a there was you a bunch what? of other games, and then there was a bunch of games that they're like, yeah, we're pretty sure these are fine. So, no, I don't know. Said, they, no, they said here are the you know the games that really have issues. These games have some issues, and that's it. And you'll be mm, fine. I'm I'm still not no, changing my name. In nobody's the nobody's going back to play Madden Madden uh, 15. I'm sorry. Uh, you'd be surprised, Dan. You lost your. Stick. There's a fervent there's a fervent community holding on. You lost your save. I'm sorry. <laughs> That was the 25 year anniversary of Madden. Come on now, that's a golden time. Uh, so I got a bunch of pickup. I got some uh-huh. good pickups. I, I picked up Blaster Master, uh, Enemy Below for Game Boy Color, mm-hmm. uh, Borderlands 2 Game of the Year Edition for the PS3. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I can't believe I didn't have uh, the Game of the Year Edition. I like to have those Game of the Year editions because that little DLC and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, bonkers. no, it's nice having it all on one disc, right? I got Bonkers for the Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. And I and I bought a bunch of Amiibo. Hey, hey. all the new ones, so, right? All the all new the ones. New Ken, ones Ken. I got, so I got Ken. I got the Ken and Ryu Amiibo faced mm-hmm. off against each other. Mm-hmm. Did you uh, get the uh, the Joker? The Joker came out, right? No, the Joker. I don't even think they announced the Joker Amiibo. Uh, that's a missed Everybody want to go. Everybody, everybody want to go crazy for the. There's no. There's no Joker Amiibo that I can. Think oh, it's of. oh, it's coming though. It's definitely coming. a hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent coming, and and mm-hmm. I will be first in line to buy it. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll be right there with you. All right, no, so so they did announce a Joker amiibo. Apparently, it yeah, looks I like so. it. Uh, Joker snake. Sign. No, these. I think these are mock-ups. I don't think these are true. <laughs> I just yeah. looked it up. I, I tried to look it up real quick. I don't think these are true. These look like they're uh, fakes. Mm, all right. Uh, but I I could see them coming out with a Joker. If they have a Bayonetta amiibo. They're gonna have a Joker amiibo makes mm-hmm. sense and everybody will buy it up i i would be first i would be first in line at the nintendo store since it's not that far and i have the stack of magazines you so graciously got me i know because I, I knew you wanted them because i knew I you wanted them so i know so. I, th- I think i told you before we were recording i think that i, I have a final fantasy strategy guide sorry they're mm-hmm. all pokemon they were pokemon strategy guides all mm-hmm. mixed into the nintendo powers so that's awesome i think they only have two re- i only have two repeats like two doubles yeah, right. I have, and I have to double that? check. That's great. And I have to double check. That's great. Real quick, I know we usually start the show by talking like uh, movie news and stuff, mm-hmm. but I, from the Star Wars celebration, uh, I didn't get this. They had it, <laughs> Kathleen Kennedy. She's like the president of Lucas Films. Mm-hmm. She did an interview with uh, you know MTV News talking about that they were in talks to you know do another. Uh, you know, Night of the Old Republic's game, but nothing, you know, nothing that she could announce, nothing came of it or whatever. So there were two big things out of that I got. One, Night of the Old Republic still on people's minds. So we could have got a Night of the Old Republic game and we still can. We don't mm-hmm. know. We still can. And two, MTV News still exists. <laughs> they still exist. It's still around. Um. Yeah, I, yeah, it's a bit of a IGN, surprise. It's a bit of a IGN surprise. IGN didn't break this. GameSpot didn't break this. Right. Uh, a YouTuber, a YouTuber uh-huh. didn't break this. MTV News, they uh-huh. still exist. So, so for all you people who don't remember, well, for MTV all you who don't know used, MTV. MTV, the music channel. That's right. That's right. The M stands for music, music television. They used to show music videos before they started showing uh, the uh, Jersey Shore twenty four seven. Now it's called the most under, you know, most underrated, uh, you know, reality shows on TV. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah, no, they, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of website. Their website covers everything. You know, they have movies and, and, and music and video games and whatever else. I think uh, I saw like a, I think I saw a teaser for like the next X, like the first Xbox on MTV. Oh yeah, man, you kidding me? They, they Actually, I think it was, I think it was the 360. Because they like they they like oh, try yes. to get real hip with it. Yes. Try to get real yes. hip with it. it. And they got all these celebrities to endorse it. And it was it crazy. It was a 360. It yeah. was a 360. Yeah. Uh, as a side note, I don't know if you know this, but I did try out for the real world once upon a time. You what now? I tried out for the real. I auditioned for the real world. You, Dan, Dan M. Robinson. 
I did. You auditioned for the real world. I did. Once upon a time in the early 2000s. I don't remember wow. what. Uh, wow. I don't remember. I don't remember which season it was. Was it the one in Brooklyn? I maybe. I don't. I mean, we're talking about almost 20 years ago. I know, I know, because that was like Real World 10 was 2000, 2001. That was in Brooklyn. I, that, had a, I that had a real nice loft on the waterfront. It was crazy. I, I tried out. I, I went down to MTV wow. and I tried out. Wow. Wow. And what they said? They said, you know, thank you for the audition. We'll get back to you. Yeah, those, those are the days when I was like trying to be like a... An aspiring print, actor? No, print model. Uh-huh. You know? Oh, I was just trying to be in the, in the Macy's catalog. I see. I'm trying to get a gig. I see. Trying to get a gig. Dan, the Back podcaster, the formerly GQ model Robinson over here. Well, you know, wow. for, for, formerly of uh, the real world. Formerly <laughs> the real world. Yeah, that would have been that would have been awesome. Yeah. I was wow. smoking. Well, back then, I'd have just been smoking weed on camera. <laughs> Seven strangers picked to live in a house. Wow. <laughs> Uh, that would have been awesome if I had the Brooklyn uh, one close to home. Wow, that would be fantastic. That'd be like, be like, you know, Dan was on the real world. You know, a podcast host right here. He was in the real world. He was official. I man, you know I, I am in the real world. Do you know why? Because I'm a man gamer. Damn it, I'm in the real world, baby. You're, you're a grown man gamer. Oh boy, oh boy. So, <laughs> all right, let's get before we go to break. Let's get serious for a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about this dude, Philip Mewson. A bunch of times we talked about him when he had his dead cells uh, debacle, which started this whole downward spiral of his career. Right, 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 uh, right. Know, so he's in former IGN Nintendo editor uh, right. fired for plagiarism. Right, right. He ran, and he ran their, he ran their podcast, I think. Right, the, and the Nintendo voice chat. And listen, he was a little awkward because he was new at it. You could tell he was nervous. And I tried to give him a shot. You know, I, I, I tried to look past the awkward moments he had because this is tough. This is tough. This is tough when we do it. Or what I, when we have a, a, a growing a cool community. I can't imagine mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. thrust into a community that has millions or uh, you well, know sure. has a, you know a big like, like fan base. Like writing is one thing, and then being on a microphone is another thing. Being on camera is a another thing unto itself, right? Just a lot of stuff going on. So it's tough, and uh, he um, he got burned because he he you know he plagiarized uh, most famously his Dead Cells review. That's uh, what started it all. Right. And then and then people called him out on it and it's like, hey, you're basically basically aping this guy's review, right? This kind of indie YouTuber. And then IGN's like, we're gonna do an investigation, and then they found out that he plagiarized most, if not all, of his reviews. And then they're yeah, like, Yeah, you're fine. Reviews, reviews, previews. Everything. Uh, everything. everything. He yeah. even he he even plagiarized one of his own co-workers in IGN. <laughs> he plagiarized his uh, his uh, resume, didn't he? Oh, yeah. His yeah, because was... he used like some resume template but didn't really change all the fields. So, so he was, stupid. Not only was he fired, but everything he ever did was taken down and, and either redone or just left blank. Right. And this uh, this... And it, this all and went down it, like this all went down last year, like eight months ago, right? August. It was in yeah, August. yeah, yeah, yeah. Early it's August. been a while since since he's been in the news. Well, 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 no. Well, after that, he tried to put out a non-apology video, right? Right. Where, right. Where he didn't take ownership of anything that happened, and he tried to be like, yeah, you know, Boomstick was the guy he you know plagiarized from. Yeah, you know what? You're doing a good job. Keep keep up the good work. That was it. And he never yeah, said, it, was, sorry it was or anything. It was he a bit of a half-hearted. It was a half-hearted attempt, you know, to kind of to kind of get himself back in the good graces, and nobody so, nobody bought it. Nobody, nobody bought, bought it. it. So he went silent for about eight months, and yep. then all of a sudden, yesterday. sort of breaking news. This, yeah, this happened. He he posted he posted an apology video, something he should have did from the get go, but he waited eight months to do it. Um, he did. He did. It, apparently, it, apparently, people gave him some some people close to him gave him advice and said, "Don't." Don't don't necessarily apologize. Don't do that. That would be bad. Well, but, he, he said that some people close him that he trusted told him not to come out and apologize right away. I don't I don't. He um, he did something completely wrong, and there's no way to hide it. He was already outed. You know, he made a mistake. You got well, you, you have to own up to it. And he did a great job by saying he listed everybody he plagiarized from, at least the major people he plagiarized. Finally, from, yeah, he plagiarized yeah. and said he was sorry. Yeah. Um, and then. 
for some reason, I guess people wanted more details on why he did it. Right? Mm-hmm. He, didn't, he never explained why. He just apologized. And then he yeah. posted another video like the explaining next day. why maybe like two days later. And this is where it gets tricky. And this yeah. is where he's losing me. Yeah. Because he looks totally different in that new video. That video, that new video that he posted to explain why he plagiarized, mm-hmm. which I got to be honest, I can, I, can, I can sympathize and understand at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's his fault for taking that on, right? Like, oh yeah. Like he 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 basically said he was under a lot of pressure. He had a lot. He had a lot of confidence in his editing skills. But he didn't have that. He didn't have confidence in his writing skills. An opportunity came to work at IGN. He jumped on it, right, and just couldn't live up to the pressure of working for a big website. A uh, big, a, a major website, right? Mm-hmm. Journalistic website. So he, he, you know, again, not feeling confident in his own work, you know, that could cut the mustard. He would take bits and pieces of other people's work, and then in that case, why even take the job? Why, why, why take the job? Just grow your YouTube channel. Yeah, Just right. You know, do it, do it, do it kind of homegrown or be a video editor like like you say that you are, you know, and do his that. Video do the thing you're good at. Do the thing you're good at. His, his videos are all crisp. I got to be mm-hmm. honest. I give, I, you know, I know everyone's going to go crazy because I'm saying something nice about the guy. But uh, listen, he, his video, his video editing mm-hmm. is crisp. There is sure. no plagiarizing video editing unless he's not the one editing. <laughs> all right, right. You know, you're you're making all the cuts uh, and doing this and that, right? You know. But he looks totally different in his second apology video, his mm-hmm. re apology, than his original apology video. So that got me thinking. When did he do this apology video? Now, if you look at Dreamcast guys, uh, Dreamcast guy did a video on this, and he knows him, and they were friends. He says he's heard from credible uh, sources that he made that apology video months ago, mm-hmm. which is why he looks different now because his hair grew out now in his re-apology video. Mm-hmm. And I'm speculating, and a lot of people are speculating, that he had that apology video ready because he thought maybe he can get a job somewhere else in the industry and he's been blackballed. So, you know, maybe he thought, hey, I'm not going to apologize Right. If I don't apologize and don't own up to it, then I can get right. a job somewhere else. Right. Right. I, I, I've I've been I've been fired because IGN said that I plagiarized. Right. But if I don't admit to it, yeah. Did I really yeah. do it? Did I mm-hmm. really do it? It's just a scandal. It'll go away. It'll die down. Yeah. Nobody yeah. Will care. Yeah, yeah. Right. But now that he yeah. now he's been blackballing, and he needs to make a living because he does have a family. Apparently, he has a kid. He has a son. Yeah. yeah you um, got to eat, man. You got to eat. He, you know, he's a desperate guy, so maybe he pro- he puts out this apology video, thinking, mm. "Hey, all right, now I'll apologize. People will mm. be sympathetic to me. Maybe they'll give me another shot." But I'm sorry to tell you, buddy. In in this world, pla- having that plagiarizing you know, plagiarism stigma, no one's going to trust you. I'm sorry. You got to You got to earn back the trust. You got to earn back the trust of the. But people. how you do you earn just... back? But how do you earn back the trust? Right. I think maybe he should just be a video editor. Well, no, I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's easy. I mean, it's not, it's not easy, but the solution is easy, right? You put out original content on your own channel, right? You know, you keep doing reviews and this and that, all of your own original stuff and you're earnest about it, right? And, you know, you make it a, you make it a point to, you make it a point to, uh, uh, you know, let people know that like, look, this is my own work. I didn't steal this from anybody and this and that. And you just, you just keep doing that until... Until people start trusting you again, and then you start growing an audience, and then you get confident in your work, and then you know you can get a you can get a job at a major outlet, or or you can go the video editing route, right? You can you can just be a video editor and cut up the videos for the reviews, right? Or maybe maybe not even in the video game realm at all, right? Maybe you're maybe you're a, a like a movie editor, right? You know, but you can do that. You can do music videos, video, but he wants to be in video games. Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that 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 kind of makes it a little tough because of all the stuff, right? If you jump let me into you a question. different let me industry, you would, let me ask you a question: Would you hire him? Uh, at this point in time, no. Would you ever trust him? 
Well, it's I hard, mean, it, again, it's hard again, every, again. Any, any piece of work he puts out, people are going to be skeptical and try to and try to compare it. To right, I know, but I mean, he's going to get outed again if he does it again, right? So he can't he can't repeat the same offense because the internet the internet's are a bunch of McGruff the crime dogs, Dan. <laughs> they will come after you. They will sniff you out, right? So if if he continues with his YouTube channel and puts out his own original content for a couple of months and whatnot, and it's good and it's original. I would I would definitely trust this guy again. I would say, you I know would, what? You have a job. I, I would love to get the guy on the show and tell his side of the story. That'd be great. I have questions. That'd be great. I have some questions. That'd be great. Because, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, look, you know, he obviously did a real bad thing, and he messed up some other... He messed up some other people by, like, stealing their content. Like, let's not mince words. But uh, I know we talked about the mob culture and and all that stuff a couple episodes ago, and how people are very quick to judge and this and that. And right. You know, the guy's trying to make, trying to make good. These are, these are his, this is his, his step one and two to his 12 step program to rehabilitation. Right. So he's got a ways to go, but I, I would say like if he, if he continues to put out original content and doesn't do the plagiarism and is earnest, I'd go, okay, you know, all right. All right. I understand what you're trying to do. I would love to get him on the show. I just yeah. want to get him on the show. I, just, I yeah. want to talk. Dead, dead, dead. I, we just want to talk. We just want to. I talk. just, I just want to talk. I don't know if I would be so quick to hire him and give him another chance, mm-hmm. but I would give him an opportunity to convince me otherwise. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, why don't we take a break? When we come back, we'll get into the top ten gaming news of last week. And we're back. Let's get into the top 10 gaming news last week. Let's start with Xbox. Let's get into the last inside Xbox before E3. Oh. So I thought... Coming you know, up. I like it's the, real close. I'm not going to lie. I like this this inside Xbox more so than maybe the last two or three. Mm-hmm. Um, this mm-hmm. was pretty cool. I like this one. We I got what I wanted, right? We talked about it on the other show, uh, speculation of... Uh, games pass and games with gold combining to be one subscription it makes based. sense it makes and sense. it makes sense and they officially announced it you'll get both games pass which has over a hundred high quality games as they keep if they keep saying <laughs> why'd you say it like that dad <laughs> no it is a hundred you know, high quality games you, you get that 4k uh see it thieves that's right and, uh, baby can't get that can't get that game anywhere else it's a Microsoft exclusive. You can't. You can't. It's, it's one of the only exclusives you can get. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you Crackdown get... and Halo and uh... Oh now now you now you all about Crackdown. Now you all about say, Crackdown. I'm just saying it's an exclusive game is all. So you get it for fourteen ninety nine a month. Mm-hmm. So fifteen bucks a month, which awesome subscription. I may go for it this January. It's well, not that oh yeah, yeah. You like to get all those uh Get all those subscriptions lined up so they all they all hit at the same time. They all hit at the move. same time. It's a Thank smart you. move. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, fifteen dollars a month may seem a little bit high, but you get you basically get like the Netflix of video games, right? You get any not not like any game, but you get a you get a good selection of games and the ability to play online with anybody. Uh, it's pretty crazy. You That's get a good crazy. selection of for, oh, you get every first party game that comes out mm-hmm. day one. Right, because it's coming out in Games Pass. Get a good selection of games that are coming out exclusive for Xbox Gold members that month, right? Um, mm-hmm. And 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 you get backwards. You get that a lot of these games that are backwards compatible. I think are in Games Pass. Not all of them, mm-hmm. but some of them are in Games Pass as well. Uh, so that I think that I think that's a, a cool. I think that's a cool price. Mm-hmm. For for both of them, I yeah, can dig it. I, I'm I'm perfectly fine with that price. You know, it's not really for me because I, I pretty much own all the games that are on the Games Pass, or at least the games that I would want to play. I own them already in some fashion. So, well, we get I'm to not... play Sea of Thieves in 4K together. <sighs> you don't have Sea of Thieves. I I, I spent the sixty dollars in Sea of Thieves. Okay? Well, uh, someone's me. a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was gonna I was gonna play the wait and see. Of Thebes, how this game turned out. 
Come on. And we, uh, we, we, we we turned out it wasn't that ship. great. We can man a ship and try to find the Kraken. I mean, look, 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 look. The potential for high seas adventure as a pirate is very high, but then in execution, there's not a lot to do in the game, even with all the patches. So it wasn't. I'm not gonna lie. I already got burned by No Man's Sky, which is apparently turned into like a, a competent game that that people should be playing. Come on, this is the No Man's Sky of the pirate world. Well, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. A couple more patches. Once they get to version 1.5 or whatever it is, then I'm in. So, so is Anthem. Right? Yeah, right. So, an- an- Anthem is like the Iron Man, the No Man's Sky Iron Man edition. Right. right? So you got to wait two years later. Where, where Before they get all the good content in there. Really good. <laughs> I know. Uh, all, they also know. announced, uh, well, they, they will be at E3 June 9th. So they'll be on that Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, as they always are. Big news! Big news are coming. I uh, I I feel Phil like Spencer, they're gonna they're gonna be dropping some uh, Xbox Phil, Prime news. Phil Spencer said that uh, some of the first parties that uh, some of the studios that they purchased will have mm-hmm. some things to show. So I think they're gonna they're mm. gonna start we're gonna start seeing games that are for next gen. Yeah, God, I, yeah I, 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 I gonna start seeing things that are for next gen. I I think you're right because like it's too I close. Think it's too to early the... though. I think it's too early. If they're unless they're going to unless they're going to launch this year or early or early next year, why show it now? Oh, if they were going to if they were going to if they're going to drop the new console this year, that'd be crazy. I did say I did say last year I thought 2019 would be the thing, and you were like, nah, at least 2020, maybe maybe uh, 2021. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think they'll probably do like a teaser, you know, like here's some games we have in the hopper, right? This is some stuff to get excited for, right? Microsoft is back, right? I think I think I think that's how this E3 is going to play out, right? I think they're going to go big. I think they're going to we're going to hit we're going to get hit with uh Scarlet specs the next next gen the the code name is Scarlet. We're going to get the specs. We're going to get and you're going to be able to play this game and this game, right? And we're not going to know too much about it, but they're going to give us teasers. And we're going to, I think we, we 100% will get a Halo Infinite uh, trailer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than just that teaser, you know? More than, more than just that teaser. And that's going to be next gen. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah, yeah. 100%. So I, they're going to go big while Sony is going to be quiet for the most part. Even though I think they will have it there direct. They'll have a door. There'll be a Sony Direct, I think, around E3. Right, because that's like their new thing they're doing now, right? Because Nintendo started. Well, I guess I guess Xbox started it way back when. Then Nintendo got into it. Then Xbox brought it back, and then Sony's like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, we got to get in on this game too." Where they can, you can control the message. It's just exactly, crazy. exactly. Like, it's like crazy. it's really smart, right? Because it's their own little thing. And here's what we have coming out. So they also showed off the next games that will be backwards compatible, and. Xbox One X enhanced that we got Ninja Gaiden or Gaiden, depending on uh, who you talk to. Two, mm-hmm. like that was out. That was out on the OG Xbox. No, mm-hmm. th- this came out. Two came out on Xbox 360 early. I, uh, it wasn't. It was like a 2007 Xbox uh, game. I think. I yeah. I I have it. It's fun. It's fun, but oh, there's so much weird about it. Uh, Fable 2, Fable 3, Tom Clancy's uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Conviction, Conviction Double and Agent, Tom Clancy's Cell Double Agent. Yeah. Oh. Those are um, all the those, those are all the 360 era Tom Clancy games, right? So there was there was yeah. three that were out on the previous generation. I think Chaos Theory, Pandora Tomorrow, and the and the OG one, which all came out on the Xbox and PlayStation mm-hmm. 2 and I think GameCube eventually. Um, so these are these are what kind of well, cool. I have I have Blacklist on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. On the Wii the U, Wii. oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I have it on the Wii U. This was the one where the voice actor, I think he was sick. Michael and Ironside. I think. Yeah, he didn't, he wasn't on here. He he wasn't. He didn't do Blacklist, but oh, he's that's back. Weird. That's weird. He came back. He came back for the um. Uh, when Splinter Cell made a, they had the Splinter Cell and what in their other Ubisoft game. I wonder. I wonder if it was because of the writer strike or the the actor strike or something. Well, no, right? he said he was sick. He said he was sick. Oh, it was. It was a sickness. And thing. he didn't. Okay. And he didn't want anybody to know. Right. Well, <laughs> now we know. No. Yeah. He was sick. Uh, and, yeah. And he didn't want... That's upsetting. But I mean, it's you know, it's good to see that it wasn't. 
it wasn't on bad terms by any means. They're like, look, we need yeah. to get someone in here. But he came Let's back. Get someone he, who's kind of like. But he, but he came back because they had Splinter Cell and uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, but the big news from inside Xbox was the Xbox One Sad, which is the, the Sad. Xbox, which yeah, yeah, it really is. It's called the Sad because it's the Xbox One S uh-huh. all digital edition. I understand. It is now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is the now. It is Xbox now. Xbox One has no... all digital edition. It's sad. Come on, uh, they had to know it was going to be sad. They, they, uh, they should have called it the Xbox One All Digital Edition, maybe. Right? Well, well, well. To be fair, it's it's all digital edition, so it's S A D E. It's it's technically Sade. Sade. The Xbox One Sade. Sade. The Xbox One. Sh- <laughs> Which sounds a lot better than sad. The Xbox One Sade. Smooth sounds for the new. Listen, Xbox. yeah, I know, I know. It's it's the sweetest. It's the sweetest video game console that you can that you could buy. So it's available for pre order now. Uh, mm-hmm. It is real. Uh, it does come with. It looks just like an Xbox One S, uh, except, all white, it, except doesn't have a disc drive. Nope. Uh, it will come with Minecraft, which mm-hmm. I, I would imagine every Windows. Uh, Windows, all Windows PCs at some point will come with Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> right? They used to always come with Solitaire. It's like, oh, we're just going to give yeah. you Minecraft. They'll just have it out here. Uh, sea of Thieves, and, mm-hmm. for, and for some weird reason, Forza Horizon 3, which is the old game, not the new game. Not Forza Horizon 4. I mean, it's still solid. I mean, It's still can, a great can, game. It's still a great game. You can play as the Warthog from Halo in uh, Horizon 3, which is awesome. Uh, it is It is a very good game. But yeah, yeah, 4 is the latest. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do that. So weird. Uh, yeah. So... I, I got to be honest. They said it's always going to be fifty dollars cheaper. So look, you can buy the Xbox One S. Is on paper or barcode two ninety nine. It's three hundred dollars, but mm-hmm. you can get it for two fifty anywhere, <laughs> everywhere, everywhere. Right, because everyone has it on a discount. Yeah, everyone has it, it discounted. Mm-hmm. My uh, Microsoft uh, said that the Xbox One Sad will always be fifty dollars cheaper on barcode wise cheaper right. than the than the xbox one s mm-hmm. so and when the xbox one s officially goes down at 250 and it's not right. just this you know it's it's like well, an what's official... gonna happen to what's gonna happen to the set it's gonna drop even it's gonna more. go down it, at 200 it, it, it should yeah yeah it's i think should. this is i honestly think this is a missed opportunity they should have just made it 200 and it goes down to 150 during the holiday season especially if next gen is next year right i think they could have mm-hmm. did a killing with this i'm gonna be the sap I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this. Of course, Dan, you buy everything. Because this I'm is gonna... not this is not news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy this because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna like keep it at someone else's house. Well, so I don't have to lug my uh, I don't have to. Yeah, lug but then but then there. but then you're gonna have to buy the game again digitally. Well, no, this, and that this... goes against your principles. You like the physical. I like the physical. Well, well, there's a method to my madness, Dave. Uh huh. This is why I will now join. Xbox Game Pass oh, and Xbox Live Gold I see. for fifteen dollars a month. I see. Well, that's you know that's interesting. It's uh it's an interesting or, proposition. Or right? or or I've been I've been queuing up. I've been uh, every because I've been a gold member for the longest time. And every time <laughs> you've been a you've been a uh, you've been an Austin Powers gold member. I've been a gold member. <laughs> you can't see my mom hinkies by my lip. You can't see it. Uh, <laughs> But I've been a gold member for a long time, so I all you got to do is queue up the the free games and just don't mm. download them. So you could download them at a later time. Right, so right, right, right. That's like the trick, right? You can even get the app on your phone to queue them up. Uh, the PlayStation Store and the Xbox, I think, too. Right, and you get home, pop it on, download the games, and you're good to go. As long as you're, yeah. as long as they're in your account, you're good to go. Yeah, as long as you hit them in your put them in your queue. Mm-hmm. So what I I got to say, PlayStation does it better than Xbox in this in this regards because uh, on Xbox. You queue it up, it automatically starts downloading, and I gotta stop it from downloading. Right? <laughs> uh, on PlayStation, you can you can queue it up, and then it it prompts you, "Do you want to download?" Why do you so not want to download it right download. then and there? Because I don't want to play. I just want to queue it up and I'll play it later. <laughs> play it well, later. But you want to have it ready to go. You're gonna have to download it eventually. You know. I have over a hundred games in the queue. <laughs> I oh I see. I think they're all just gonna start going one after the other. I see. <laughs> I see. So. Uh, I just want to keep them in a queue. So right. I, I think maybe maybe this start, I'll do that and see how that goes. And then maybe, mm-hmm. you know, uh, the Games Pass, Gold, Team Up, Avengers, 
Avengers team up subscription for fifteen bucks Avengers. a month. Wow, well, it's very timely. It's very timely because Endgame is coming out in a couple of days. So I know, which you will see because our friend Anthony has tickets for you. Hell yeah, he does. Hell yeah, he and does. Gonna, look, look, and, I've and known I'm him since high school. Him. Known him since high school. We go way back. Listen, I know. We look I've, out for I've, each other. I've I've known him since Trump was elected president i know i know States. you you're That's you're a you're a you're a newly found friend we go we go we go we go uh-huh i'm it's, sorry he only had the one go, extra ticket and go, he, he go, obviously he called me up called me up and he's go like back. look got an all expense paid trip to see Endgame. everything's covered drinks and food your tickets go, covered right it's all back. vip we go good. way back. I can I uh-huh. can turn around and see him. He's uh-huh. not that far down. Well, he doesn't uh, have an extra ticket. I'm just saying. So right. I well, will. You know uh, I'll I will do what I always do and find a way to see it. Of course, of course. Well, I mean, you know, it's 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 technically we're gonna do an episode. We're gonna do an episode. We're gonna do an episode just on Endgame. It, it, oh yeah, three, no, I think we have three to. hours long. I think we have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three hours long. Yeah. yeah. Hope you got. I brought my. I brought my. Uh. I I I brought my pillow just in case I get a little tired during the uh, the boring scenes. I can take uh, a I little five minute you, nap. I was gonna say you need to have like a portable urinal so you don't have to get up and go. <laughs> wow, wow. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying. not that crazy. I'm not that crazy. Just say it. Anyway, uh, I still don't like the price two ninety two uh, two forty nine ninety nine. I will. I'm still too I'm, high. Pro- I still too. I am probably still gonna buy it though. Mm-hmm. Uh, at that price, I'm not gonna wait till Black Friday. You're um, not gonna wait till Black Friday. I'm not gonna wait till. Black Friday. Oh, see, that's a, like a fool's errand. I'm 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 with you. You want every version of the console, but nah, I would just always wait. I still need wait. a PlayStation Slim, but anyway, I mm-hmm. digress. Let's move mm-hmm. on. Uh, a place where you cannot buy the Xbox One side is GameStop. Mm-hmm. Actually, GameStop when they announced this, GameStop <laughs> tweeted out, "Hey, you can get an Xbox One S and like uh, certain games for the same price, discounted at two fifty at GameStop." Yeah, that's so funny. So they're not going to sell you this. Can get, you can get the, the better model with the disk drive and the <laughs> same games for two forty nine ninety nine at GameStop, right? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. No, not the same games, but you can get a bunch of games. You can get a bunch uh, of games. Okay. For like for two forty nine. dollars So they're not going to sell this because it makes sense. Why would they support this when they make money on the games, the software, not the console, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like when we were at Circuit City. And we sold. We didn't make any money on the TVs, really. That's why we had to sell all the accessories with the TVs. Same yep. thing with computers when, yep. we're at, when we're at when we're at when we're at a Circuit City. It was all mm-hmm. the accessories we the sold. Markup, the, the markup. The markup is on the accessories. The 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 big money is the uh, the, uh, the insurance plan. policies, the protection plans. All right, these are trade secrets, folks. All right, don't let them don't let them uh, don't let them try and shyster you into a uh, insurance policy plan because they're not they're not necessary. They're not necessary unless you're my uncle who's like well, 65 years old and has no idea how to use a computer i was like please get, get the, the protection plan you know why yeah. because i can't be fixing a computer all the time you need to go to geek squad but anyway yeah, right? let's get back on track uh gamestop will not be selling xbox one uh sad but if you want to buy days gone which is coming out this week uh they will have a they have a new return policy called guaranteed to love it where you right. get a full refund within 24 hours of purchasing the game. 48 full hours, re- I think. Two days, full, yeah. Uh, two days. You get mm-hmm. a full refund, store credit, if you don't like the game. Right. So I thought I thought I I, I, I saw some videos on this, and I thought it was uh, going to be rolled out to every new game. But they're, they're starting off with select game. One select game, right? You said you said Days Gone, I think. Yes. Uh, just to kind of... Not Mortal Kombat 11. Not, not Kombat. Mortal Kombat 11, apparently, yeah. So they're going to, like, test the waters with Days Gone, I guess, see how it goes. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I don't necessarily think it's going to save them as a company, you know? I think it's um, the right track. Look, mm-hmm. look, they've been doing so many things that have been anti-consumer. Look, look at Xbox as, as the prime example, right? Mm-hmm. Xbox is safe to say Xbox is losing this generation, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're what definitely, happens when you... definitely uh, maybe second, maybe even third at this point. I, they're third. They're yeah. third at this point. Uh, and I'll tell you why they're, they're third or they will quickly be third. I'll tell you uh, when we when we start talking about the switch later on. Mm-hmm. Um, what did they do when Phil Spencer 
stepped into the role of head of Xbox, he started being consumer friendly, right? Like, hey, you want to do cross play? Sure, it's fine. Hey, you want game? You want all your first party games on Games Pass? You want a Games Pass? Sure, here, right? Um, they they started doing well, except for the Xbox One Sad. The price of two forty. They've been doing everything that that's been consumer friendly. GameStop, you're a you're dying. You're becoming archaic and irrelevant, right? You are the last. You're the last of the Mohegans. You're the last dedicated game store chain, at least. You should be doing everything you can to be more consumer friendly, so people can buy games from you and nowhere else. Yeah. Yeah, you should be doing everything you can so people can buy games from GameStop and not Amazon. So that means if you pre-order, you get ten percent off. If you have, if you're a pro elite member, you get crazy discounts on used games. Mm-hmm. Not canceling all of these services that made me buy from you. That just makes right. no sense. Right. I think this so- is a step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how. This is this is a, a mediocre step, a minor step. They need to do a lot. They need to do a lot to save save them going forward. Well, you want to know you want to know something funny, Dan. As a former employee, not of uh, GameStop, but of Electronics Boutique, uh, before GameStop bought them out, uh, both stores had a return policy of, I want to say, up to like thirty days. You could buy a game open that game, play that game. And if you didn't like that game, you could return that game for another game. And then if you didn't like that game, you could return that game for a final game. So you could trade in games twice, even if they were open. Well, remember they, they had a, they had a repol- they had a policy that they, ca- they didn't even really start it. They canceled it where you can pay a subscription fee and you can just bring in, you could just go and take uh, a bunch of used games. Oh, there was that too. Yeah. 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 And, and then you can keep, you can keep like one, right? Like you, yeah. You, you can, but it's you can like, it's like, what is the availability, right? If you go to a store that doesn't have a good, a, a good availability of games, it's like, what am I doing? Right. It's weird. So, but I, I guaranteed to love it. I think it's a stupid name. I know you disagree. <laughs> I don't think it's I don't think it's detrimental in any way, you know. I just think it's stupid. I think uh, they could have yeah. came up with I think they could have came up with something better. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, but I like the concept. It's in a step in the right direction. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dave. Mm-hmm. They're not going to sell the uh, GameStop is not going to sell the Xbox One S all digital edition, but you know what mm-hmm. they will sell? You know what What's they will that? sell? What the next generation sell? PlayStation. Oh, the PS5, uh, as people are want to call it, right? Please, please. Why would it not be the PS5? Please don't call this shit the P- the PlayStation Panther. Don't don't do anything the stupid. Place that, the why P- would they call it the Panther? I don't know. Where did that come from? This isn't this know. isn't Mac OS releases. I'm just saying, just don't call it anything stupid. It's just gonna be the Snow the Leopard. PS5. It's gonna be the PlayStation Snow Leopard. PS PS five PS six PS seven keep with the keep with the numbers yeah no why would they not um, call it the PS five you know let's get into our lead story mm-hmm. of the week and that is we have our Mark Cerny did a full interview with uh, Wired magazine mm-hmm. and it was all about the next generation console mm-hmm. which we're going to coin a PS five just so I don't have to keep saying the next generation console. yeah 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 I mean I'm I'm I would. I would I would be pretty it'd be pretty safe to say that uh it's going to be called the PS5, right? He got in he, he got into, you know, sort of like the minutia of like the tech specs, semi tech specs. He didn't get really yeah. too in deep. Well, I mean, he, it'd be it'll have an H, uh, H, HMD uh, AMD chip, right? I don't right. know where I get HMD. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm in work. At work there are I do have an HMD. I won't say what that actually stands for in the legal field. Mm-hmm. Uh Yes, uh, we'll have an AMD chip, an right. AMD Ryzen line, right? Yeah, Ryzen Eight-core Ryzen, chip. yeah. Uh, the CPU, the CPU will open up doors for better 3D audio, which he spent a lot of time talking about. Well, this audio. is this is this is kind of an interesting point, right? Because they've never really done uh, 3D audio, right? You know, there's like surround sound and this and that, and that's like one level of it, right? 
And then there's the Dolby Atmos, which is another level. So like standard surround sound is like you got a speaker in the left hand corner and you can program sounds to come out of that part of the um, uh, to come out of that speaker. Right. It's like front left and back right and center and subwoofer. Right. They have the Atmos stuff, which is like height. Right. So you can have speakers that either project above you or speakers that are hanging from the ceiling or in the ceiling. And you can have sounds come out of that particular uh, section of the room with that particular speaker, right? And then there's then there's this whole 3D positional audio and whatnot, and you know it's 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 kind of like a whole nother level, even like beyond that, right? You can kind of build the soundscape so when like a bullet whizzes by you, like you can kind of get you can kind of get the idea that the bullet's coming from this particular angle and in this direction, or somebody's right? in the bushes hiding, right? You can probably hear their footsteps behind you. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be all these really cool things like. But that only, but that only works if you have a full surround sound or you sort of had like uh, good he- audio headphones. You do, you do need the right equipment to really take advantage of it. Uh, but man, but, is it, with that is said, it super cool. But with that said, if you want 4K, mm-hmm. uh, you need the right equipment to take advantage of that. You need same. 4K TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's the same so situation sense. with the visuals. Um, they will have uh, they ditch in a regular hard drive and you get an SSD drive. It, right. You know, a solid state drive, which that makes faster. sense. They're makes super sense. quick, you know. I, when I got the PS4 originally, I don't have the same hard drive. I have the one terabyte SSD drive. Oh yeah. Oh, you swapped it my, out. I swapped it out. So I do get sort of faster loading times on, mm-hmm. on my uh, OG mm-hmm. PS4, as I call it. Now. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, like you know, it makes a big difference in the in the uh, you know the recording computer, the beast. That we have here in the in the in the uh, studio, you know, that's got an SSD as the uh, the main drive, and it makes a difference. You know, everything's just that much quicker. So, yeah, I think that's the right move. Like SSDs are definitely more expensive than a traditional. They're going to be the like, standard. Yeah. And we're going to pay, oh, yeah. yeah, 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 pay for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's it it, it <laughs> you know it has to be. It's 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 more expensive all around than like the spinning platter like standard drives, but. Man, is it going to pay off, right? Because people, I think when we get to the next gen, the PS5 and the Xbox Prime mm-hmm. will all be standard one terabyte. And people are going to go crazy. Like, why is it one terabyte? Why is it not two terabyte? Because it's going to have an S- uh, SSD. It's going to have an SSD. S- 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 yeah, SSD. Right. So, so it's going to be a little cost prohibitive to put in a super large drive. Um, but then you kind of then you kind of come up against the roadblock of well, if you're pushing digital, right? That means you need a storage capacity to put all these games on there. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tough. It's gonna be a little tough. But he did show he did a, uh, he did an example where he showed how to sort of fast travel in Spider Man. He did it mm-hmm. on a regular PS4. A P, no, he did it on a PS4 Pro, and it took 15 seconds. And then he did it on the the dev kit for the PS5. And it took like 0.8 seconds, so it was right. super fast, which is insane. And, which is insane. And, then, and they they want to really. Uh, we talked about load times in games earlier. He really cut down on load times, mm-hmm. uh, where you pop you pop it in and you just jump into the game, right? So that's a great selling point. I don't mm-hmm. think that's the leap in next generation hardware, <laughs> right? <laughs> but. Well, wait, it's, did, it's, 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 well, wait, 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 before you get into anything else, let's, let's make note that PS4 backward compatible, right? PS5 it is, it will be backward compatible. With I, that was my, no, that was my next thing. It will be backwards compatible. Right. With PS4. Which is, which is great to so hear because, because the PS3, not really backwards compatible. Well, PS4, have, you mean, no, no, the PS4 is not backwards compatible. PS3. Well, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. PS, yeah. The original PS1. The games, I mean, the, the games re- of the PS3, yeah. The original PS3 was backwards compatible with PS2 and 1. Right, 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 right. But, I mean, the PS3 games themselves, completely different architecture, right? Wildly different. And it was, you know, it was kind of hard to get that to go. So you, you, you do get remasters on the PS4, right? That are PS3 compatible or, or, or PS3 games that have been remastered for the PS4, right? But yeah. you don't you don't really get that. Uh, oh, this is God of War three. You can just put put in your PS3 disc and it'll play. You know so, that that doesn't really fly. Also, uh, they're future proof. They're future proofing this because mm-hmm. it will be 8K compatible. Yeah. See, this is where this is where is where Mister Cerny lost me. I, 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 
I put up big question marks and said, why? Right. And I'll tell you why. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, 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 it's an easy explanation. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know right now 8K isn't a thing, like, at all, right? Like No, 1%, no, I mean, they... they 1%, they, 1% of households, if anything, not even households, just 1% in general. No, 8K, 8K no, no, is no, like no. A, it's like, it's like 0.01% at best. Yeah. It's in an office building somewhere. <laughs> I mean, sure, well, you can get 8K, monitor, 8, 8K computer monitors, you can get 8K TVs. Uh, they cost an arm and a leg, and there's only like a few select models at the moment. So, but, but I tell you this: mm-hmm. if the PS4 in 2013 was the PS4 Pro, there was mm-hmm. no incremental upgrade. It was the PS4. The PS4 Pro was the PS4, mm-hmm. right? And in 2013, when it was less than half of households had 4K TVs, right? You know, maybe 90, maybe maybe less than a quarter of households. 4K TVs at that point, mm-hmm. um, maybe only like 15. percent And they said this was 4K compatible. You you would be like, for what? Why? Why? Why is it 4K compatible in 2013? Right. Mm-hmm. So because they're future proofing for 2017, 2018, when people will have uh, 4K televisions. Wait, wait, you wait, know, wait, five, wait. 2017, 2018 already went down. <laughs> No, I'm saying in 2013. Oh, I see. I see. You have the PS, the PS4 Pro. Right, right. 4K is going to become the thing. Right. 4K is going to become the thing. Is 4K? I mean, look, 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 look. I get Same that. Same thing here. In 4- I get K that. Is gonna, 8K is going to be the thing in 2025, and I understand in 2025 we're probably going to be rumors of PlayStation Six, but yeah. we won't need an incremental upgrade because it's 8K compatible. I I see what. I see what you're getting at, and it, it's also the same thing that Microsoft did with the original Xbox. They were looking forward. They didn't put in a modem, regular dial-up modem, where most of the country only had dial-up. They're like, uh-uh, broadband all the way, right? That was the only only option you had with this, right? They could do up to 1080i, so they could do HD with their games, right? They were very forward-thinking. Um, and, and, you know, I think that I think that bet did pay off. Um, my only thing is, A, there's no 8K content, like like streaming content, right? There's no movies. There's in, 20, no... in 2013, were there 4K content? Yeah. Yeah. 2013. 13. Yeah. There was, there was very limited 4K content. By the time I bought my TV in 2015, there was, there was 4K content. And all, right, so all that was of two years, two years after the, uh, after the PS4 launch, they, 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 they had some, they had some 4K. They had very, a very limited amount of 4K content. See, but like, see, but like, see, but like, that's the thing, though. Out of the box, the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 weren't claiming 4K, right? They were still 1080p out of the box, HDMI, straight to the TV. I know. No, no, I know yeah. that. that. My argument is if the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, when they first launch, they weren't the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They were the PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X mm-hmm. in 2013. That's my argument. What if they would have launched with the X? They would have been. The they would have been. They would have been a hundred to uh, hundred and fifty dollars more than they were right, when uh, they uh, came uh, out. With, all right. With that said, let's say let's let's say let's say they they weren't a hundred dollars more. They were taking a loss, which is rumored. Which is uh, by the way, that would have been a, that would have been a big loss on that. You know. Well, I mean, look, companies, look, look, companies look. Companies aren't companies aren't sh- uh, companies. This is historically companies sell consoles at a loss, and the big rumor is that the PlayStation 5 uh, will be selling at $100 loss. So every console they sell, it's $100 out of their pocket. Yeah, no, I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm not surprised by that. But I, I guess, so, I guess but, my... But what if, but what if, but what if the, again, the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One X was just the standard when it came out in 2013? They were future-proofing. We didn't have an interim well, I would, I would... upgrade. I would say I would say this to that, right? And and this is this is this is the point I'm trying to get at with the proposed 8K with the PS5 is when let's just take the Xbox because the PlayStation had a much oh uh, PlayStation had a smoother launch than Xbox did. Xbox had some trouble at the gate, right? The Xbox games, all of the Xbox games when they came out were not running at 1080; they were running at 900p, and they were being upscaled. 
because it had a problem. Like, like it, it couldn't, it couldn't handle all of the graphics and the frame rate and all that. It was just really poor. So there was a lot of like scandal out there that, oh, the games really are in 1080. They're 900 P and then they're, then they're like upscaled. Right. So they couldn't even do that when the system first came out. Right. It was already having trouble trying to just hit 1080. Right. Um, which, which, which I, which I think is possibly going to be a problem here. Right. They're going to make games that are like, you know, 8k textures and this and that, and like fill them up with all these great visuals and you won't be able to power it. Right. You're going to have some problems there. That's, that's, that's my one concern there. My second concern is if like, like we talked with the, uh, the Xbox said <laughs> with, with the lack of disk drive. Right. Uh, that means everything is digital, right? So you got to download everything down the pipe, or you got to stream it, right? When when the when the kind of streaming service kicks off, and PlayStation has their streaming service now, right? PlayStation Now, right? If that's the way everything is moving, right? I think the network is going to be an issue, right? You're going to have to stream AK games across the pipe. Like it's going to be tough. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, I well, I don't. The good I, thing is, yeah, there is no yeah. PlayStation sad. This does well, have there, there is no way that, no, 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 no. Does it is all on disc and it is going to have the the SSD and it's going to have state-of-the-art AMD chip in there. And, so. and, and again, I said future-proofing. So that means when we actually get to the future and they're talking about the PlayStation 6 being native 8K or whatever, right? Whatever the new technology is of the time, they're going to say, let's just say it's 8K is the thing. They're going to say, yeah, in PlayStation 6, you can stream 8K. But right now, PlayStation Five, you can still just play it with PlayStation with with eight K compatible games mm-hmm. on disc. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I but the uh... best, but the best news that came out of uh, the interview with Mark Cerny is a confirmation that this is not coming out this year. It is not being released in twenty nineteen. That's the best news. Yes, because I was right. Dan was right. That means oh, I, was right. I see. I see. My prediction. All right. My prediction. I said All it was right. not coming in 2019. You, you are, you are correct. You are correct. No wonder it's the best news. I see. It's the best I news. The yeah. Best news. No, no. You're right. You're right. All right. So we, <laughs> All right, so we talked a little bit about Xbox uh, next gen. We talked a little mm-hmm. bit, a uh, lead story about the next gen PlayStation. Let's talk about, let's talk about Nintendo. Let's talk about the Switch. Because mm-hmm. these are interesting things. Because there was a leak that said that they were going to put out a mini and a pro version right so let's start with the mini version let's start with the mini version we got leaks of photos of the nintendo switch mini we got we got we got a leaked photo yeah no there were two leaks there were two leaks they were front side back one with a no there was there was one with a black shell and one with a um a turquoise blue shell oh yeah 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 Yeah, so the the turquoise one is the new one turquoise one is the one that everyone was really talking about because uh the turquoise one sort of was like in the 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 setting wasn't much there so it sort of gave the realism that it could be in a factory somewhere in china yeah right Um, right and it looked like a smaller switch with no detachable joy cons it was the shell had the joy cons on it with screws in the back of it so it made a screwing in uh all the joints of of the joy cons into the into this big overgrown vita essentially yeah. what it is yeah yeah um, yeah and then people sort of dissected and said it was a fake because the serial number is the same serial number well the model the serial number, number yeah, yeah. the model number in the in the mock in the in the picture is the same model number uh of the actual original switch so right. if this was real that number would be different because sure be yeah yeah they, they the always they always number. do something different it's always like abg something or other you know so uh i I don't know what to think. I think we will get a mini this year, right? Because I think Nintendo is well. This this is Nintendo's mo, right? After two years, you come out with a, a sort of a different version, a cheaper of course, version, of course. And, 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 and this would obviously be a cheaper version that would replace the 3ds, right? Because we all know the 3ds is essentially done. We don't so. have any new games. I don't think there are any new, brand new first Mm-mm. party games announced for the 3ds. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this would be the nail in a coffin for the 3DS, especially if they sold it at that price point, right? Like at $200, maybe $150, $189, I mean, it's, $200. i am I'm going to assume like 
250, maybe 230. If they can get it on the 200, that'd be great, right? It's obviously, I was, I, I, 200. It obviously, there's not going to be a dock. The Joy Cons won't be detachable. Uh, it may be a little bit smaller in the screen. Maybe it won't fit in the dock. Well, there, right? there's some speculation that it will have a mini dock where it could still be a switch, right? And it could dock. Right. And you would, you would just buy that separately, right? It would fit in with the form factor of the of the uh, the switch and that would make sense because then it would still be a home console would still be a hybrid type situation so i could definitely get behind that you know uh i oh, just i gotta buy the xbox one sad and i gotta buy the switch mini you don't have to do anything then you want to buy the sad and the mini and the eventual uh nintendo switch Why pro can't... I I, 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 well, let's just stick with this year, okay? I will have to buy the Sad in the Mini in the same year. Mm -hmm. It's a great year to be a gamer. I know, right? So, all right, let's switch to the Pro, the Switch Pro. Uh, Their news, Nintendo Life has sort of said that, yes, there, 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 there will be a Switch Pro, and the Switch Pro model it will be delayed. Now that that's the sad news. Right? So 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 they won't come out with two models this year. Like they rumor is that they Nintendo was really looking forward to putting out two models this year mm-hmm. to come to sort of combat because they don't want to lose sales. They don't want the uh, the Switch sales to slump with the next generation PlayStation Five and because uh, they're right around the Xbox corner. Xbox Prime you know, to like, come out like in twenty twenty as early as as early as twenty twenty. You know the Pro model will be sort of delayed because they don't have a direction there's no one spearheading uh the direction of the 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 playstation uh the playstation the switch pro Mm -hmm. as as we're gonna call it uh which makes sense um and in some translations sort of not only have the don't have it just as the switch pro sort of like a a incremental upgrade but as like the next generation switch Mm -hmm. so this may not even be true as far as what we think a switch pro is sort of like that second model switch which be sort of uncharacteristic of Nintendo, but they've been doing things that are uncharacteristic uh, under this new regime, right? They, they've 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 gone mobile, right? They've opened up everything. They've opened up to uh, having YouTubers uh, use their content without uh, copyright strike. Finally, so, so they've they've opened up a little bit, you know. So I can see them going for the pro. So I think I think I'm more inclined to believe it's not so much delayed the pro version. Mm-hmm. But I think they're working on a next model switch to go, you know, sort of, I don't want to say combat because they're not, well, they don't, at least I don't think they think of the PS5, a PlayStation and Xbox as competitors because they do two different things. They're not. Yeah, I, I don't think they're trying. They're definitely not trying to compete in a power level. But I think I do think the pro or whatever the next generation switch, if this is true, I think they want to make it more powerful so we can we can have those games, those new open world games released day and day with the other consoles. But here you can just play it portable. Right. I would love to have red dead on the switch. I mean, you kidding me? (laughs) I probably would have beaten that game like 10 times over if I could play it on the subway, (laughs) but you can't because the game is a powerhouse and it looks like a next gen game. So the switch pro as they call it may be delayed. However, we did get a big drop. We got sort of like a, a, a mini direct, Smash Direct, and it told us Joker is launching now. Essentially, <laughs> we got yeah. Joker for Smash Brothers Ultimate. And I've played it. You've played it. I got to say, mm-hmm. I don't know what you think because we haven't really discussed this, but I think Joker plays awesome. I love the stage. I, I love the persona stage. And I love when you, like, if you win a battle, when you win a battle, mm-hmm. the truck comes and picks you up. Oh yeah, 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 Morgana that uh, that uh, transforms into the truck. Yeah, it's a nice touch. It's a nice touch. The um, when you do the uh, when you do the uh, um, when you do the ultimate, it's it's his it's his uh, final final smash or final attack from the uh, from the game, and everybody ends up coming out. They do the they do all the graphics from the from the uh, the battle, you know, the Persona Five battle when you do your ultimate. Uh, that's like super cool. The um, the uh, the back oh the uh, stage has like a bunch of different colors that it can cycle through right so you so you never know like sometimes it's yellow sometimes it's green it's blue it's red it plays a different plays a different track each time like really cool 
Yeah. So I really like it. I really dig it. I couldn't download it at first because <laughs> the servers were down. Oh yeah, so it that got was a little like, weird. It got it got straight up like it got straight up clogged, like right out the right out the gate, which is crazy. But um, so, uh, it's all good I now. Tried, like, I, had I, to wait, I had to wait to the next day. So when I went yeah. to work, uh, I saw that the servers were up, and I was like, "All right, download." So when I come home, yeah, I downloaded it. Um, I downloaded it uh, Saturday morning, I think. Okay. I downloaded it Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. One thing, one thing I did find very funny is if you noticed um, some of the uh, new me costumes, there is a there is a Knuckles me costume. <laughs> Mm-hmm. For like your me fighter, it looks bad. It looks it really looks so, bad. It looks it looks okay. No, no, mm. no it does it. Stop it. It Stop looks it. like he looks like he skinned knuckles and put <laughs> his body suit, uh, put his fur on it on the guy's body. Uh, oh, yeah, get I'm out not of here. about it. Get, oh, get out of here. That Morgana, that Morgana costume looks the same way, and so the is Morgana tails. looks great. It's just a little cat head. <laughs> No, it looks like he skinned his head, skinned their head. No, no, no. Knuckles yes. looks Knuckles looks far worse because it's like a full on furry bodysuit. No, <laughs> no. But and Tails, I could do the same thing about Tails. Like I said, I mean, tail. Tails, Tails isn't much better, but it's a little bit better. I disagree with you. I don't uh, think. It, I don't, all right. I, don't, I, don't, I think they all look bad. Uh huh. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we can't talk about Nintendo this week or talk about it for last <laughs> week without talking Reggie. He's in May. His last day was last week. I know. Rest in, I know. Rest, gotta... in, rest in peace, Reggie. You're still he's alive. Not he's dead. Just, he's 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 the Danny's not dead. The man's still alive. He's just enjoying rest retirement. In, rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh my God. I, I want him to rest in peace. He's resting. Oh my. Right? You want him to have a nice long nap. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Retire in peace. Uh huh. Uh huh. So go. yeah, I mean they uh you know they uh they sent him off pretty recently. Gave him a massive send off, right? Doug Doug Bowser, who mm-hmm. is has an awesome name for someone who's going to take over head in uh, Nintendo head in America, Nintendo America, right? Uh, posted on Twitter a picture of a plushy Bowser sitting in an office chair. <laughs> Talking about fantastic, all up to me now, <laughs> right? Uh, so for Reggie's retirement, Retro Studios sort of uh, you know posted gave posted like a gift, a, a sense of a statue or something, right? With a picture all signed by everyone at Retro. Mm-hmm. But everyone is focused on the behind the Mario statue. There is a metal hand mm-hmm. sticking out. And now mm-hmm. this this picture, this signed picture, is from Retro Studios. It's like an animated picture with Reggie in the middle, Samus, and uh, and you have the Kongs, you know, Diddy Kong and, and Donkey Kong. Diddy and Dixie and Donkey, right? With the Metroids floating in the background and the mm-hmm. metal hand mm-hmm. sticking from behind a, the Mario statue. Right. Now, what could this metal hand be? Everyone's speculating this could be what Retro Studios has been working on <laughs> all this time. A new game. Right. It's conveniently, conveniently obscured by the Mario statue. Which is a very nice yes. Mario statue. Right. It is, actually. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like, like I took a look on their Wikipedia and Retro Studios... <clears throat> beyond the the games they made before uh, partnering up with Nintendo, and beyond the games that were canceled that were supposed to come out on the GameCube and whatnot, this is really it, right? It's a bunch of Metroid games and a bunch of Donkey Kong games, and that's essentially it, right? So I I couldn't tell you, you know, maybe it's maybe it's a weird like. It's it's a weird character. It only appears in one of these games, like one time. Star one Fox stage. Grand Prix. Star Fox Star Grand Prix. Star Fox Grand Prix. Oh Jesus! And there's and there's a metal. There's a metal who's person. Who's even got there's a metal, metal hand in that game? Is uh, Fox McCloud got his arm chopped off, and that was the metal arm? And what is this? What is this? Uh, what is this? Star Wars: uh, Return of the Jedi? Star, this is this is what Star Fox always should have been. Star Wars. Oh my Star God. Wars. Star Fox. Oh, why, you know, what? as a, as a side note, why is everything that's a space game I guess has to start with Star? Star Trek, Star Wars, Star Fox. I know. That's it. That's it. Star Those Warrior, are the only space properties known to man. Star. Star. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, you know. There you go. Everything was the stars. I know. It's weird. People, people need more. Um, I think people need a little more ingenuity when it comes to naming. I'll tell you that. So honestly, like, I don't think this is anything. I think the Internet's just going crazy over nothing. Because even really? if it is something new, like, 
Wait, we'll we'll find out eventually. You know, E three, we'll find out. I mean, this maybe is Reggie putting out a little tease. This was maybe this was Reggie imagine out tease. imagine it actually is something brand new from Retro, and they're like, "Look, we got this great new game, and here it is." That'd be funny. Yeah. All right, let's talk. Let's get into the retro scene. Mm-hmm. Talk about retro. Let's let's get retro. Let's talk mm-hmm. about Konami. We love retro. We love retro. We're retro collectors. Let's talk uh-huh. about Konami. A game, well, a collection of games that should be in physical disc. God damn it. Limited run, I'm talking to you. Let's get this. Let's make this happen. Uh, we talked about Konami. It's their 50th anniversary, and they're releasing three collections, a Contra collection, an arcade collection, which is out already for 20 bucks, mm-hmm. and a Castlevania collection. Now, they yep. named the, f- uh, the first four games, which is Castlevania, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, Tra- Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. That was the Game Boy version. And, right? And Castlevania Super 4. Castlevania 4. Super, Super Castlevania 4. Those right. are four games that mm-hmm. they initially are, you know, sort of announced, and there were four empty slots, so we knew there were four other games coming, and they finally announced the full collection. I think it's twenty bucks. Uh, it's coming out digital only on PS4, Xbox mm-hmm. One, Switch, and PC. Coming out May sixteenth, which I will buy, even though it's digital only. Konami, and that is Castlevania Bloodlines, Kid Dracula, Castlevania: The Adventure, and Castlevania Two: Simon's. Yeah, I think overall, this is a solid list of games. Uh, Kid Dracula, we're very surprised that's on there. Uh, it is, you basically, you play as a young chibi-style uh, Dracula, and you start in Dracula's castle, which is uh, interesting. Uh, well, but, but, that, but that was, that was like, wasn't that a PC game or PC Engine? No, not a PC I Engine. think they may, have, they may have made a version on the PC Engine Commodore, well. That was a Commodore 64 game. Maybe, yeah. I mean, I know I it didn't get released. Out. I don't think it got released for Nintendo, right? In America. Yeah, I don't believe that was... I uh, don't think it was part of the original 700-some-odd games that came out for the original Nintendo. Uh, so it's cool that that's on there. Castlevania The Adventure, I could do without. That was the first not? Game Boy game. Okay. I own that game. It is not good. Like, it has... It has one of the best Game Boy soundtracks. I will oh, give. Kid, I will Kid give Dracula, that. Game sorry, I, I mean, I, Kid Dracula came out for the Game Boy, and it it's worth a pretty penny right now. Came out for the Game Boy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But this is worth, this is the one hundred and forty dollars. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this is the NES version of that game, right? Okay. Um, with the you know better visuals, obviously, you know, full the full Nintendo color gamut. Um, it's a good game. I've I've played it, emulated. It's a solid game. But uh, most of these games are great, with the exception of Castlevania, the adventure. So seven out of eight games, solid. All right. I would play. I would even count Castlevania 2 for all its faults. I think it's still a good game. It has some good things going for it. All right. So, you um, know me. I'm the constant collector. The Kid Dracula. <laughs> Kid Dracula did come out for the PC Engine. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it came out in America for the Game Boy. One Luki Games ever for 150 bucks. I can get it. I can get the scr- I can get the label ripped off the Game Boy. Oh Jesus! And and the manual. U.S. 100 bucks right now. Hundred dollars. Fifty dollars essentially off. Dan, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, pause on this. Have two Twix. Pause on this for a second. Have wait till twigs. after the show. I know you want to jump on this right now, but you have wait. M and M's, M and M's, wait on M and M's. Wait on this. Um, wow, that's okay. crazy. I'll wait. That's crazy. I'll wait. I'll wait. Rip label. Like I give it a good home. It doesn't have a label. I, I understand. I understand. Okay. Well, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna get it May six, May sixteenth. Twenty bucks. I think I'm. I'm I think all, I'm also about this too. You know. I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. But okay, so that's all that can the Konami Castlevania collections, all digital, nothing mm-hmm. physical. Um, I ha- I was playing Super Mario RPG on a on a SNES. I mm-hmm. got to get back to it. I don't know how that's gonna work because this week we got Mortal Kombat 11 and Days Gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dan, Dan, as you always say, the grown man Gramer doesn't have time, so you gotta you time. gotta you gotta budget your time efficiently. But you know it's how tough. I budget that? I just don't play the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. I don't even know why you bought that to begin with. Uh, that, thing is a, for, that thing is a that thing is a dumpster fire. 
You can get it for thirty bucks right now. Anyway, I know. See, uh, you 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 paid like seventy bucks too much. I, I paid. Was. <laughs> I paid the full amount for it. Yeah, it's way too much. But you know what else is? But you know, you know what else I, I pay way too much? All these uh, Genesis clones, little minis. Oh, the at made. games. Mm. Oh my god, I paid. They're all trash. Yeah, none of them are good. I have a trash. None uh, of them are good. So even Sega, the, even the ones that aren't that bad are still pretty bad. So Sega is taking over, and they're going to put this out, all right? And the just the first ten games they announced because they're going to put out forty games. The first mm-hmm. for seventy nine ninety nine two controllers. The first couple of games, they, the first 10 games they announced already blew out the PlayStation. Oh, mini, of course. Out the water. Of right? course. So you, got, you got Sonic, you got Castlevania Bloodlines. First of all, first of all, first of all, how does Sega get Castle Blink, Castlevania Bloodlines on the Genesis Mini and you can't get Symphony of the Night on the, on the PlayStation? Classic. Yeah. <laughs> no. Seriously. It makes no, it makes, no sense. Seriously. It makes no sense. Seriously. And I can keep going because you have Castlevania Bloodlines, Sonic, the, the original Sonic. Uh, to- the original Toe Jam and Earl, Comic mm-hmm. Zone, and Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar, Gunstar Heroes, fantastic game. That is a that is a pricey game on eBay. If you try and buy that used, oh, I have it. Like hundred plus. I own it. Yeah, I own it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's expensive. It's expensive. Game only though. I don't own the the whole. Thing. Yeah. Well, we're not we're not we're not we're not made of money, Dan. Come on now, we're not made of money. We well, got to buy everything else, right? Uh uh-huh. But they announced. Uh, the next ten games, I think Dreamcast mm-hmm. guy had the exclusive on it. So I think they let him exclusively announce. I think they probably oh, oh interesting. I think they're gonna let him exclusively announce all the other games as well. Right. Probably. Well, there's forty in total, right? So we it's forty we know, in total. So we, we know, know we, we know, know twenty of them right now. Now we know twenty. And the next, right. the other ten games: Earthworm Jim, Sonic the Hedgehog Classic. Two, Classic, Contra, Contra Hard Corpse. So that's right. Not that's only right. do we have Castlevania, you have Contra in here, right? Ca- why why don't we have Symphony at Night on the PlayStation Classic? They didn't try. I'm know. sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Thunder Force, Thunder Force 3, Super Which is Fan- fantastic Fantasy- shooter. Super Fantasy Zone. Uh Shinobi 3, Return of Ninja Master. Mm-hmm. Uh Streets of Rage 2, Landstalker. But the biggest surprise of them all, Cast of Illusions and World of Illusions, starring Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's they right. That's right. These Disney, are Disney properties. Disney properties. Now, now Sega did Sega did create and produce these games, but it is a licensed property, right? They had to get the licensing rights from Disney to be able to put these games out. So, you know, good on them for doing that. That is great. That is great. That's, this is that's, this is that's solid. Crazy. Even if it came out with just these 20 games for like 60 bucks, I would be in. Right. But there's going to be 40 for 80 bucks. So it's like two bucks a game. Right. That's a solid well, deal. It makes that's a solid think, deal. What are the other games they're gonna release right can we well now, if, now we got the two we got we got two disney games the fantastic mickey mouse games mm-hmm. can we get lion king and aladdin i mean i i think you kind of have to those those were those were capcom games though right so i actually know i think the lion king was virgin interactive maybe i know capcom did aladdin and it was it was amazing uh different than the super nintendo version but still very good um, that would be awesome if they get those other two games on there. Uh, they obviously yeah. have to put Streets of Rage one and three, right? You can't not put those on there. Put Unless Shining they have Force Disney two games. On there. Yeah, yeah. Put Shining Force two on there. You got to do that. Um, I mean, they're still missing some. They're still missing some key games. Put like Road Rash on there. That would be cool. Like like maybe like Road Rash three. I think that was the best one. Or um, I don't know. I don't know if you remember this game called Skitchin. No, <laughs> it was a uh, it was a game. So so Skitchin Skitching is or Skitchin is a is a term. No, no, no stop. Uh, it's what <laughs> every time you say you're Skitchin, I just see you jumping up and down, scratching all over. Skitchin, I'm Skitchin, I'm Skitchin. No, 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 no. It's it's it's, it's an actual term. It's an actual term. It's where you grab onto the back of a vehicle and you. And you and you ride, you know, you 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 get the momentum of the vehicle to get you speed, and then you end up letting go and you slingshot forward, right? Because you have a little momentum from the uh, the vehicle driving, and then you slingshot yourself forward, right? So this is the whole entire game. You are a you are a rollerblader, and you have to get across America, and you grab onto the back of cars and sling sling yourself forward. Right. And there's and there's other combatants. So like other people can grab onto the back 
and you have to like punch them off. You can pick up weapons. You can go over jumps. It was a it's a good game. This kitchen was a good game. No, no, I don't it. believe that. I don't believe that's a real game. It is. <laughs> it sounds it is. like <laughs> you skitching. It sounds like yeah. You- do you now? Do you now remember the beginning of Back to the Future, the first Back to the Future, when 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 Marty McFly is late for school, and he jumps on the skateboard, right? And he get behind he, he gets behind like the Chevy four x four, right? He is skitching behind the car. He grabs onto the end to gain momentum, right? And then he ends up like I know, but I, I, I can't see that being a game. Yeah, Skitchin. man, it's it's actually it's actually really good. Skitching is Skitching's a good game. I'm talking about they need to have like Rocket Knight Adventure or, or Sparkster the the sequel to that on here. Yeah, You're talking about they can have those two as long as they're skitching. The skitching. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Look up, look up, look up some YouTube videos on it afterwards. All right, we're gonna look at some skitching and see how much it is on Loki Games. Uh huh. Game. Uh huh. All right, it it very much is. And our last and our last piece of news. Let's stick with the plug and plays, right? Mm-hmm. Capcom announced some weird looking it's the weirdest looking plug and play I've seen I'm sorry it's a, it's their logo with arcade joysticks and buttons on it, it it's a big ass fight stick it's, it's a it's big a, ass fight stick it's, it's the a big biggest ass fight stick, stick I've seen and it will have uh, a bunch of games on it 16 yeah. games yeah 16 games I'm not gonna go to all 16 games but I will get into this I would into the, the handful that I'm excited about and that's mm-hmm. Alien vs. Predator Oh, AVP, man. Really, Never really got released on that. any home console. Uh, Dark Starker's The Night Warrior. Mm-hmm. Final Fight. Uh, Mega Man The Power Battle. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that... That, was, that wasn't that was released in any anniversary edition recently, right? It was on the PS2 anniversary, uh, yeah. which you could get as an unlockable. Power Battle 1 and 2. Uh, mm-hmm. They were arcade only previously before that. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah. I remember reading about this in Nintendo Power, and I thought that it was going to come out for Nintendo, but it never did. It was arcade only. Um, it's kind of cool. It's basically a it's a fighting game, uh, right? So you go after, like, Robot robot Master, Robot Master, Robot Master, uh, and you get, like, the abilities and the whatever. It's just kind of one-on-one. There are no okay. stages. And, of course, Street, Super Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Right. The hyper right. fighting edition, and also also uh, Super Puzzle Fighter Two Turbo. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. Uh, fantastic. Well, the um, arcade ghoul, Ghouls and Ghosts are going to be yeah. in there as well. Yeah, that's solid. That's solid. I will say this gets tarnished a little bit because uh, Capcom shit. Capcom did release the uh, Capcom Fighting Pack, which does have Captain Commando, Final Fight, Armored Warriors, and three other games on top of that. So it, I do own some of these already that have been kind of remastered for the switch. So there's that there, there are, there are a bunch that I don't like AVP, obviously not and pro pro gear and 1944 and a couple other ones striders on here, which is nice. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not a bad selection of games, 16 in total, I think. Right. Yeah, sixteen. I will buy this, even though it seems to be. A, it's probably gonna be like three hundred bucks because it's like two ninety in uh, euros. So it's probably it's most well, likely three hundred dollars. It, 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 it works out to about yeah, it works out to about two eighty eight USD, right? Which mm, I don't know, man. For 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 like sixteen games only, it uh, it feels a little high. I don't know. It feels a little high. Like the controller looks really cool, right? Like it's 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 in the shape of the Capcom logo, right? Which I think is kind of neat. And I'm sure, I'm sure the joysticks are real nice and responsive, and you know the buttons have a good feel to them. But I don't know, three hundred dollars? That's a lot. That's a lot. It'll just get in the back of the line with um. It'll get in the back of the line with the Xbox One. Sad. And and the switch and the switch mini, I mean, you're already hey. at like you already have like a thousand dollars. That's crazy. I'll do it for Christmas. I'll do it for. That's Christmas. crazy. And yeah. Also, 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 as a side note, that has nothing to do with this. Uh huh. We didn't get a chance to really talk about it before we started recording. Nintendo. It looks like it's breaking news. Nintendo looks to be making a deal to sell Switch uh, uh, versions of the Switch with. Um, Super Mario Deluxe already packed in 
in China. Oh, a market, a market that, you know, they don't let you just sell consoles in China. There are no, no consoles no. in China. You have to go through, a, uh, you have to team up with like a Chinese company to sell in China. Right? Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is a nightmare. That's why there's so many like knockoff clone consoles and all mm-hmm. this other weird stuff coming out of China. All these mm-hmm. weird off brand things. Wow, that's crazy. So they're breaking into the Chinese market. Which automatically will put them over the top. Oh yeah. To uh, you know, as far as selling consoles. They may they may just leapfrog the PS4. <laughs> they're gonna decimate and the console. And con- that's well insane. if they can actually if they can actually get this make this happen get get right get yeah. games and get switch versions of the switch it won't be the actual switch be versions of the switch yeah it's always it's always China. slightly different it's always slightly different if you want to go down a very interesting rabbit hole look up the uh look up videos on the iq the ique right that was that was what china got instead of the n64 they got this yes. thing called the iq and it's crazy right well, well they're going to team up with tencent Mm-hmm. And Tencent, if you don't know, uh, you should know because uh, they're 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 involved in all the big gaming stuff because they own a piece of Ubisoft. That's uh, right. I think right. they own a piece of Epic, so they're part of Fortnite. Mm-hmm. You know, so they own Fortnite by default. Yeah, they, got, um, they got they got their hand in a pot of uh, many 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 pots. So, so Nintendo yeah, is partnering up with them to get the Switch out in China. So that's crazy. Uh, that's a developing story. There you and go. We'll, I am ex- I'm sort of excited to see where that goes. Interesting that they would bundle the the Super Mario Wii U Deluxe Edition mm-hmm. version with the Switch. Yeah, China. yeah, not not like not like, like, Mar- not like, like Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe yeah. China, maybe they love platformers. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> I'll right, follow. Up. We'll, we'll we'll follow up as as. Uh, as time goes on and, and this becomes not just a developing story, it's happening and they're mm-hmm. selling consoles. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. just China is definitely an untapped market where I know oh, uh, Xbox and PlayStation would love to get into. Huge. Of course. And then and Nintendo may as well be dominating at this point, right? If they can get in, like, forget about it. It's like, oh, there you go. There's your game console for the next 10 years. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Well, uh, I think that about does it, Dan. That's uh, that's episode 161 in the books. Uh, again, we uh, we want to thank you guys immensely for um, for being fans of the show and doing all the good stuff that you guys do, liking and commenting and uh, you know just interacting with us. Um, if you want to interact with us, and we know you do, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Rated G for Gamers. Um. Just to note, too, that we are also part of the Gaming Podcast Alliance. Go there if you want more gaming goodness. Uh, there's a lot of great podcasts on there. So, uh, please listen, like, rate, review, and subscribe. And as always, keep gaming. Keep gaming.